This set that I have in front of me here, it captures the just about opening moment of Star Wars. Like this is pinnacle Star Wars. Like uh, this is before even the episodes. I'm not that old to really tell you that I was around for when Star Wars was just Star Wars, there was no other movies. But with that being said, this scene, this does really capture that opening scene, and I'm honestly surprised it hasn't been done uh, like it has in the set 7, 5, 3, 8, 7, 10, and 4, 14. And I really want to throw a diorama in there, but it's not a diorama. Like, and one of the, you know, this set to me is a mostly perfect set, honestly. There's a few flaws. There's some mini figures that maybe could have been better. There's some different things, and I'm gonna dive, take a deep dive into that in just a moment here. This box, though, is the thickest box I've seen outside of a UCS, and that includes the big $140, $170. I've got them on my shelf on display. They're not even this thick, and so this $55. Uh, box here that's for ages 8 plus with 502 pieces. Now to cap it off to really tie into the whole fives theme here, which is the exclusive figure in this, should have been about three extra pieces for 505 would have been really nice. Or throw 53 extra pieces for 555. Alright, like that would be, that would cap it off perfectly, but you know, sometimes the numbers just don't work out. Do I really want like 50 extra pieces and where, where would you put them? Um, I think this set doesn't need those. It's not, I don't want to add them for the purpose of to make the build build or anything like that just for a perfect numerical assessment because you get the exclusive figure of five which uh, he comes in bag number five in the $55 10 out of four diorama. There needs to be a couple more five. But all those jokes aside, Fives is my favorite character, so I do judge Lego pretty harshly. But I do take it with a grain of salt that this is Lego, and I'm happy to get a purest version of this. I know that there's many better options done by custom companies, and there's uh, we'll even discuss some ways that you can upgrade your Fives should you get your hand on. Uh, and, but anyway, uh, now that we're kind of through this, uh, let's get in on those minifigures. Take one last look at this box. And there are the details you get the you do get nice silver 25th kind of anniversary style box here. I'm not sure if all the boxes this year are gonna get that, but the ones with the 25th anniversary figures are definitely going to be getting that. And anything that celebrates uh, the 25th of Lego Star Wars. And you get the characters all on the bottom. And this does have quite a bit. And then just really kind of, this is just a really thick box and I'm impressed. Like with all the Lego sets, you get your manual. Uh, I'm having trouble getting my codes, to, QR codes to work. Um, but you do have that QR code to earn those a uh, little bit of VIP points. Not many stickers, just a small sticker sheet. And one thing, a little warning that you'll want to be careful about, if you haven't built yours, um, this cloth box has both Darth Vader's Keep and Five's Pauldron. Uh, I almost lost Five's Pauldron, so just be careful um, and when pulling them out, because uh, I don't. It's very easy to throw away a cloth piece accidentally. I did that on another set. Okay, we're starting with some soldiers here. These are the stormtroopers. Uh, I know a lot of people like to call them the family guy because they have the oversized helmet. I do like that they're dual molded though. I think that that looks really good. They're not, to me they do look like stormtroopers. They don't look terribly goofy, but they don't exactly, their helmets are oversized and I'm, I will be glad to admit that. I do wish that they were the smaller, older helmets. 
uh, just with that dual molding and that would be a perfect stormtrooper otherwise not bad like a 9 9.3 I'm gonna say for these stormtroopers helmets need a little bit of work but other than that not too bad and next up we have these rebel troopers I do like that you get the silver blasters to, to differentiate that they are not serving with the stormtroopers that they are a separate group if you don't know rebels versus stormtrooper like uh, a kid or someone like that who hasn't seen the original Star Wars. But for those that do know that you, know, you don't need that, um, I think you know black blasters look better. Um, but I, I'm not, I'm not mad about it. I think that they're these rebel troopers really. There's not much more you can do to them. Maybe some dual molded legs, but not every set needs it. Like I think that they're fine without. Uh, it, dual molded legs does add that little extra little bit of oomph to it that really makes them stand out as figures. Rather than that, like, they are much like the, the Yavin 4 base that came out in, in August of last year. Like, there really isn't much more that you need for a Rebel Trooper. Rebel Friend would be a really great uh, minifigure to have again, but otherwise, um, really great minifigures here. They do have a little bit of back printing. Their helmet is very accurate and there's no change that has needed to be made to that helmet. It's been around since 2008 or something like that. Next up we have Captain Antilles. This is maybe the second or third time we've had him and he gets a little bit of printing updates on his torso. Just a little more detail looking a little bit more like uh, the good old Captain that we see briefly in the first Star Wars. And his head, like it's got some, it's got little bits of uh, aging lines on showing that he's a little bit older on his face print. I think he does have a double side. Uh, yes, he's got his scared look, like when he's being forced to by Darth Vader. That's a good scene you can kind of set up there. But more on that feature in a little bit. And he's got the same rebel helmet that the other two have as well. And Darth Vader, he is pretty much the same Darth Vader that we've had the last couple of years. He's got some arm printing. He's only one of two figures in this set with arm printing, but really excellent arm printing. Now, he is not printed for the episode 4 Darth Vader, that one is slightly different, but I'm not going to nitpick that. I think great to have an excellent printed Darth Vader, even if he is more of a um, Return of the Jedi. So it comes off in two pieces, I think that's excellent. He has the pale head there with all the scars, and it has a back printing for more of those scars as well. It does have the soft spongy cape. I I'm one of the, I feel like I'm one of the few people that prefer that over the hard one. I just like it. Uh, the hard ones just kind of get molded into shape and then they don't return back either. Back to his front and he's got the leg printing, the usual one, the red lightsaber. And I have five. And it can be displayed on this little 25 years to start printed piece this display stand. Onto the figure himself. Most of this figure is actually done really well. I think the hardcore fans are going to be able to tell he's fives. The other ones that don't know fives as well are going to think he's a cool clone trooper. I'm just going to state it as that. Starting in his leg, I think that they're pretty good. Could they be better with some dual molded? Yes. Now, printed on waste case. This is. I'm going to say something kind of controversial here, and I think for fives this works. I think it works really well, and most of the time I'm not a fan or any clone trooper having printed on wastecapes. I would rather Lego like, give us a cloth one to at least cover up the printing, and they can do both. But fives is such a detailed wastecape, having a plain black and blue one which wouldn't be even remotely accurate. Which I would assume that like we'll just throw a one well, single solid color piece of cloth, whether it's blue, black, or whatever color they go with. And since Fives has you know some like a dark gray with blue and stripes and all that printed across it, I think that this is the best of both worlds. There would I prefer a cloth that is highly printed? Yes. Uh, do I think Lego will ever do that? No. I think Camp Cantina is the way to go to get a really highly detailed, high quality cloth piece for fives. I'm going to move on to his torso. He does have an oversized ammo pouch, which really hides the detail of 
his uh, chest, which I think would be really cool to see. And I think in this case, I think that shouldn't, that detail shouldn't have been printed on, and should have been, the ammo patch should have just been added to the pauldron up top, which I do have how Lego wants it to have, not how it should be, and I am going to fix that. If you just mold it a little bit, even if you have uh, one of the old 2008 pauldrons, you can place it over that for a little bit of time. And then also putting the backpack over top of it. I have it under underneath because that's how the instructions told me to, to build it. But I am going to fix that. And you put the backpack over and then mold it on the crease, the solid black lines. And it's going to be a pretty good pauldron. I do wish, again, that the ammo pouch was attached to it, much like Cape Cantina does. So I think you could really upgrade this figure pretty easily with a Cape Cantina set and that would be really great. Now the helmet, it has helmet holes, as we all expected. And I just, I don't care about them. I, it's it's the way it is, unfortunately. Now I, his helmet, the two thirds of it is pretty good. The top is pretty bad. And mine looks even like misprinted. If you look at that, there's not even spacing between. Like, it's like they just stamped it on. Like the printing quality on the top of the helmet just is not good. And one would argue that the helmet holes are causing that issue. Whether they are not, um, it is what it is. He does look enough like the Fives helmet, a uh, blue. Ishi, Rishi eel lines there should be more curved down and not eyebrows. His face, Lego went off is out of the park. I did wish that they would give us a hairpiece for him, but overall, not too bad. Like without the helmet, he looks pretty spectacular. And one kind of other thing that kind of bothers me is that Lego gives these big Uzi guns for our officers, our troopers, and commanders who dual wield pistols like Fox and Rex, I just don't like them. And I wish Lego has a perfect piece. I think that those pieces just don't even really fit Star Wars that well. I, they have been used for Mandalorians and it is what it is. That's a better figure to use it for, I think. We have a spare officer pistol. I, for all the sets I've gotten, you buy any battle packs. Um, I have spares from the Ghost, I've got spares from the stump fighter I've gotten from the last few sets that I've built, I have spares. And right there, he's already a better figure just for having those. I think they're more accurate to what he would have carried. But that, again, that's a nitpick. For fives, like, he gets a kind of low score. I mean, he's still like a seven. I think overall, not too bad. Like a 7.3 for fives. And the rest of the figures, um, you know, like a 9.5. Like, pretty good. But here's where this set really kills. When we're doing it nice and close. And you get lots of features. You, you have this empty space back here, so there's not much here. But there's a lot of hidden play features that you can display it like this, and it's fine. I'm going to set this up so we can show off the play features. Uh, you, got the, you got jumper studs. Where you can place your figures on both sides. Place one there, place one there, and you got this trans clear one by one round piece that you can put. You can put Captain Antilles there, and I've got him with his scared face. He's being forced to by Darth Vader. I'm going to bend him backwards a little bit. There we go. Now all the pieces are in place. Now. There's a lever back here, you pop that open, and you got the fire and the smoke and the stormtroopers coming through. Pretty cool, right? And then you get Darth Vader, and I put in the middle, and again he's force choking. Right, and now you get four of these with each, control each individual soldier, then fire, fire them forward and backward, like he's gonna go. That, and they all pop off. And there's like not much more to the set. And again, like you have the display pack, display and you put fives there and that's really the set like there's really it's a it's a good long build but there's not much to it and it's a really great display piece it's a great play piece and really takes after like 
Levy really took a look at the Dark Trooper attack and said, how can we make this better and what scene can we do? And they came up with this, and this was the scene that needed to be done, especially for 25 years of Star Wars, this scene has never been done. So I think that this was the right move. And then also adding pins to the end, and you can connect multiple copies. I haven't bought multiple copies yet, I do plan on buying at least another one. But stay tuned, I'm going to do on how to upgrade your fives even more than what I've already done. And uh, that's going to do it for me, so don't forget to check out Amazon links down in the description. Smash that like button and subscribe if you're new here. And I've got another video coming right up.